Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be checking out the EV Peak E6 charger. This is for the micro class, so it does JST, we've got Molex or we call it Lozzy, and then we've got 2mm JST and then 1.25 pitch JST and it will charge four batteries at the same time at a maximum of one amp and you can change the amount of amps that you put through it which is nice it does normal lipo voltage which is 4.2 volts per cell at maximum charge and then it does high voltage at 4.2 three five maximum volts and it's really simple to use actually and it's pretty cheap as well it's got its own built-in power supply which is nice it comes with this cable here and I did have to add a different connector to it for the UK it came with a US plug but it does take both US and EU voltages which is nice but it can also be powered off a external battery as well so DC 9 volt to 12 volt and you're given this cable for that now I just want to comment regarding a subscriber his name is Bill Somrak I hope I got your name right Bill and Bill he is just so great with his feedback to the channel always very detailed you can tell that he completely watches the video so thanks to you Bill for that. Now Bill said that he got one of these and he found that when he was charging it up that none of the batteries reached the peak voltage so like I say for a high voltage battery it should be 4.35 volts and for a normal LiPo it should be 4.2 so I want to check that out today as well as checking out how good this charger is so it's very easy to use we just have these buttons down here and where it says channel there we can select the channel and you can see it's currently set at one amp and that's the highest that you can go but that's fine because we don't want to be charging any higher than that for our micros so for example I have got these bunker batteries here they are a high volt battery one cell they are 500 milliamp so if I want to charge it at 1C then I want to select 0.5 amps so I can go lower than that if I want to rescue my batteries but I'm just doing that for the purpose of this video so then what you do once you have selected it, obviously you plug your battery in, so I've got this battery here, it's a discharge battery, so that just goes in the top there like that, and instantly it shows me the voltage, so 3.79 to 3.8 volts, so if I plug more of them in there, like I say, I can do more than one at a time, I can do four, and then this one will light up, and again I can go into the channel and I can increase that also to 0.5 and so on and then if I now long press the start stop button it should start charging but I think I have to select the one that I'm on so now a long press of that one and there you go this lights up and it starts charging but I want to stop that a minute this should start to go up by the way in amps of what it's charging there you go so it should max out at 0.5 there you go right so that's charging so if I stop that what I'm gonna do is first of all check that this meter is correct and I'm also going to compare it against another high volt charger and this is the ISDT charger now this one is about the same price but it's smaller however it does require a power supply or a battery going in there so it's not as compact as this when you add all of that up really but there you go so the first thing that I'm going to do let's get rid of that battery first of all right so this one says it's at 3.8 volts so let's unplug it from here and let's plug it into this one here and let's see what this one says so this one says it's 3.9 right so how do we verify which one is correct we use a industrial multimeter I'm gonna 
stick that there on volts and oh, the wires are getting everywhere so don't try this at home by the way you might end up with a fire because these pins are very close together. 3.79! It says minus 3.79 because I got them on the wrong way around so let's just do that. 3.8, 3.79 I would say so far this guy's winning so the next thing to do is to fully charge a high voltage LiPo on here and fully charge it on here because this is where Bill is saying that it's not fully charging them. So we will see because I don't want you guys buying stuff that's no good but if this works this form factor is fantastic I might get a couple of them because it doesn't really matter then what you're charging whether it's you know a brushless one cell or a tiny whoop or a brushed one cell model it's all there everything is there that we need and we can do high voltage and normal lipo as well so let me get one charging on this one charging on this because this one also does high voltage and we'll see which one is the most accurate okay I got two batteries here both that's around the same voltage let's charge them both at the same time so you can see there 4.35 0.5 amp and then if I do channel there no not that one 0.5 amp and let's start them at the same time that one's just a quick start so oh there we go yes this one's going to be a bit behind but then they should both start charging at 0.5 amp but so far this one seems to be a little bit out but let's see what both of these batteries are like once they're fully charged because if they're both accurate when fully charged don't really matter what those readings say so let's see what happens okay so both of these batteries have charged this one says full and it beeps when it's finished and this one I think I have taken the beep off and I don't have any options to turn the beeps off on this one and let's just see if I can press channel and see if it can tell me what the end voltage is maybe do I need to press stop so this one's saying 4.35 which is correct for a high voltage this one saying 4.5 so I think this one's meter is a little bit out but what's important is what is the voltage on the meter so first of all with the E6 let's take a look at that to do this where you can see it so 4.35 perfect but just out of interest what's this one at so this is the ISDT I have to be very careful here come on Make sure I don't slip. 4.35 as well, exactly. So, regardless of what this meter says, this one's fine. But that's not really what I'm interested in because I'm reviewing this guy. And I give it a big thumbs up. And to Bill, I think you perhaps may have gotten a defective one because this one seems to be fine either that or they've updated the product but yeah this is working fine for me in fact I charged a couple of them on this and it was consistent the meter reading is better on there and yeah really like it the only thing with this one is it doesn't have a discharge option a couple of more things as well. It does have a reverse polarity error, which is good. You can't put more than a 1S in this either, so if you plug the 2S in there or a couple of things in there, it would say voltage error. In fact, in the instructions, it gives you a list of what the errors mean and that, but it's got all sorts of safety mechanisms and redundancies in there so big thumbs up for me I'll put a link in the description if you wish to get one and also this guy as well I really like this guy and despite its voltage reading incorrect 
on here it probably just needs calibrating because it charges the batteries correctly just like this one does so as always thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers